Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Prey 2017. Okay, so this episode's gonna be weird. I'm pre-recording this. Uh, as you notice, I'm getting destroyed by these gigantic assholes. They're made of assholes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but first, we gotta find out where Kirk R Rimnar, Rimmer is, or whatever you wanna call him, Kirk Rimmer. And, um, yeah, it takes me a little bit in this terminal, but I find him in the cargo bay section, Kirk Rimmer. Yada, yada, yada. And we go looking for him in, uh, actually not Cargo Bay. He's apparently in life support somewhere, is what I understand from the guide I looked up online. And, well, you know. But it turns out that I cannot find him for the life of me. I, I guess he's glitched out. Maybe I killed him before and he just disappeared. I have no idea what's going on. I just keep searching. And I searched for probably... I think I searched for 20 minutes. And then I said, fuck it. And then I was like, okay, well, let's do Talos Smuggling Ring. Let's get that out of the way. Because that is a pain in the ass quest next to Treasure Hunt. It's like the longest quest next to Treasure Hunt. I think Treasure Hunt's the longest. <laughs> Well, I guess killing the cook would be a long quest, but you know. Anyways, we gotta go to crew quarters. It's the first drop. Uh, we've already found uh, the first one, which was uh, in the Arboretum with uh, Lily's head, above uh, Lily, Lily's head. And uh, so we're in crew quarters. We're going to the fitness center. I ran into a little bit of resistance in the fitness center. You see this asshole right here. And I'm like, I'll kill you, boy. And it's, that ain't gonna fool me, that towel trick. Yeah, suck it. Suck it, alien nut scum. And uh, so there's the the fire bell that we've got to smack. So I lay down a glue shot. And here comes another mimic. So I, you know, I shoot him a couple times. I'm like, let's make it personal. And I smack him around my wrench. You know. Just like when I hunt rats. Okay, so we smack this. I'm just kidding. I don't hunt rats with a wrench. Hope you don't believe that. And there we go. We got a chipset. It's it's okay, the chip said, yada yada. So now we're going to Talos One Lobby in the elevator. And we've gotta head through employee orientation, and then right above here next to the bathrooms is the next Talos drop. And uh, I spend like twenty minutes trying to figure out where my weapons are. See, look, I'm still doing it. I'm trying to get them to where I can quick swap them. I'm sorry. I suck! <laughs> so there we go. Smack the shit out of that alarm. The, the fire bell. And there we go. And so the same one, it's in the same place. There's another one in the same place. Talos 1 Lobby in the Trans Star exhibit. You know where they got uh, JFK. First floor... I'm like, where is it? Looking around. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. It's right in front of me. 2020, 2020, 2020. And so, all of these monsters are around here trying to stop me from my end goal, which is to smack this red bell until it turns blue. And I get stuff out of it. Alright, so, I'm just going to show you how to get to the hardware labs from here. Because the next one is in the hardware labs. And we're just going down a list here, aren't we? We're just knocking them out quick as shit. Gonna hit through here and avoid the monsters, you know. And keep myself safe. Keep my keister in one piece. And here's the hardware labs. And we're not gonna have to deal with a loading screen the way the game should be. You're just going through it. Boom. Hey, d game developers, take note. I can... I know how your game works better through the power of editing. No loading screens. So I have no idea where this thing is. I'm looking around for it. I realize it's upstairs. It's got to be. Looked around the room. And I'm like, okay, it's not over here. It's not over there. Okay, whoa, there it is right there next to that statue. And there's a voltaic phantom, and he's like, I want that ass. And he's coming for it like it's a, like it's a whole snack. So we, we jump on top of this glue block, and we smack the shit out of this red bell again for another Talos smuggle drop. A smuggle drop. Okay, so, the only way I know how to get to Cargo Bay, besides through the guts, is the much easier way, which is outside of Talos 1, in the Talos 1 exterior. And there's Kirk Rimmer again, he's like, I'm still here, and I'm like, no you're not, you don't exist anymore, because as soon as I go to that place, 
He's going to be like, oh, I'm not. I don't exist. Wow, you're right. I guess you better go away again. And then I'll go away again. And then Kirk Rimmer, he'll be like, hey, I exist again. As I leave the map. It's a pain in the ass. Did you know that the moon is made of cheese? It is delicious cheese. And I suggest that you try some if you ever get there. All right? Now, you can't disprove me. You can't. You just can't. Try it in the comments, I dare you. You can't disprove me. So, I'm looking for the hull breach for the cargo bay, and I find it. It's all the way around the other side from Hardware Labs. What a pain in the ass. Couldn't couldn't the developers made this game more <laughs> more handholdy than this? Okay, no, nah, I'm serious. You don't want handholding in a game like this. You want to you actually play it. It's a good game, guys. Just give it a shot. You'll love it. I, I, I suggest playing System Shock 2 first, though. Thanks for getting to Mika. Anyways, in the cargo uh, bay, you Ellen go through I... shipping and receiving, and Sam Hurts won't shut up. I, I thought we were dead for you sure. You just smack the shit out of this red bell next to these people that are unaware of your red bell smacking activities as of late. And boom! You get the final Talos smuggling ring, smuggle area, and your objective is complete. And Kirk Rimmer's there. He's like, hey! Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hope you enjoyed.